actually attempted. Okay, so I'm gonna say this is hashtag ways to keep the tower from leaning more. Still, the tower kept leaning. In 1990, experts determined that the tower was dangerously close to toppling over, and the public entry into the tower was prohibited. An international commission on, of historians and experts then began an effort to save the tower. It meant that the soil under the south side of the tower was soft soil under the north side, and the weight of the marble tower was accelerating the shift. Steel cables and counterweights were installed to slow the movement of the tower. While the cables and weights worked to stabilize the tower, excess soil was removed from underneath the north end to level the ground the tower rests on. These efforts to protect and maintain the tower are not obvious to the untrained eye. The tower still leans about 13 feet. So I'm going to say, I'm going to clarify this one because this one, like, this was about unsuccessful ways to keep the tower from leaning more. And this one is more a successful way to help keep the tower from toppling over. Okay. Last paragraph. The International Commission and the proud citizens of Pisa are hopeful about the latest efforts to halt the lean. Experts believe that the tower should now be stable for another 300 years. If the tower leans significantly more, however, architectural experts and historians will surely once again come to the aid of the magnificent leaning tower of Pisa. Pisa. Okay, so this is experts hopeful they have stopped the lean for 300 years okay so now I'm going to write my beginning middle end summary so the first paragraph, if I go back and look at my hashtag, was about the beautiful tower. So I'm just going to say the beautiful tower of Pisa. And the middle, paragraphs two through four, were all about efforts to uh, fix the lean. They tried the bell, they tried injecting concrete, they even thought about doing helium balloons but didn't try it until they finally found a, a real way to correct, to stop it. They didn't correct the lean but stopped it from leaning more. So for the middle, I'm going to say efforts, efforts were made to first correct the lean, but then they focused on trying to keep the lean from getting worse. And then lastly, the International Commission and the proud citizens of Pisa are hopeful about the latest efforts. This is that last paragraph, paragraph five, and this is about hope for a future for the tower to continue. Okay.
And now I'm ready to go answer the rest of my questions. So pause the video until you're ready to, to go to the questions. So here we go. The author wrote this selection most likely to, okay? So what was the reason that the author most likely wrote this? Describe the efforts to prevent the Leaning Tower of Pisa from collapsing, okay? That was a pretty part. Convince people that the Leaning Tower of Pisa is worth saving. I'm not sure any language that was trying to convince me of anything. Explain why the earliest attempts to maintain the Leaning Tower of Pisa were unsuccessful. I know that that was only a small part. Demonstrate why the Leaning Tower of Pisa is not safe to enter. Only a small part. I need to find the one that is the big picture, the big idea here. So go ahead and choose your answer. 18. Which detail from the signs why one attempt to fix the lean made the, t the tower lean even more? Okay, that makes me think of the time they put in the cement here because it said some of the concrete seeped under the foundation causing the tower to lean even more. So let's look and see what we can find. Cables and weights were in installed to stabilize the tower's lean. Is that, does that detail come from that paragraph? The tower continued to lean even after the bell chamber was placed in the tower's north side. Does that come from that paragraph? A concrete leak made the tower's foundation more unstable. Does that come from that paragraph? Soil was removed from beneath the north end of the tower to make the ground more even. I need to find the detail that explains why one attempt to fix the lean made the tower lean even more. So I need to go back and find what paragraph I need to match that detail with and choose your answer. Okay. Number 19, which sentence from the selection is an assertion made by the author? So we're looking for an opinion. It cannot be proven. In 1990, experts determined that the tower was dangerously close to toppling over and public entry into the tower was prohibited. Can I go back in the records and see if 1990, if it was, if the tower was closed? Let's look at B. One commission even suggested attaching helium balloons to the tower to hold it. Question was never actually attempted. Can I go back and see if that can be proven? International Commission of Historians and Experts then began an effort to save the tower. Can I go back and see if that's true? If the tower leaned significantly more, however, architectural experts and historians were sure, will surely once again come to the aid of the magnificent leaning of Pisa. Can I prove that architectural experts and historians will surely once again come to the aid? I need to figure out which one of these is an opinion. An assertion is an opinion even if it's probably going to happen. It's still an opinion. Okay, and we did number 20. And now number 21. The reader can conclude that the tower will most likely a need to be monitored and maintained for as long as it continues to stand okay can I assume that is that something that the passage would support b be completely straightened using technology that will be is that an one that I can make passage C, become more magnificent as it continues to lean. Is that an assumption that I can make from this passage? Or D, help experts solve structural problems with other buildings. Is that an assumption that or a conclusion that I can make from this passage? So here's your answer. And what you're going to do is you're going to put these in the form in Google Classroom. And if you get one wrong, then what you're going to do 
is you're going to copy underneath um, the Google form will tell you why each answer is correct or incorrect and that information by the uh, question. Okay, so you're only answering questions for reinforcing the past and then when you're ready you will do the other video for the Cuddy Sark.